dear students we are in the 8th module where we are learning cash book so single column cash book and double column cash book we have learned now in this module i am going to do the three column cash book so in three column cash book some important topics we have to cover that is one thing is contra entries i am going to explain that that's a important concept and you have to remember that why it is called three column cash book or the triple column cash book the amount column is divided into cash discount and bank both the debit side and credit side so you know that in single column cash book amount column only cash book is there when in two column cash book amount column is divided into cash and discount in three column cash book it is divided into cash discount and bank so that is the difference now i'll explain three column cash book so this three column cash book is also known as triple column cash book then because why we are keeping the triple column cash book if we maintain a triple column cash book we don't have to prepare cash ledger and bank ledger we can get the cash balance and bank balance at any point of time just by balancing the account so this is an important thing so when i explain the cash book in the previous module i have told you cash book will serve as a principal book and as a subsidiary book why its principal book that means all the cash transactions are immediately posted in the cash book second one is in the triple column cash book we don't have to maintain cash and bank ledger accounts we can just from this cash book itself we can get the balance that is the advantage so in double column cash book where cash book is maintained firm has to open a separate bank account same as in the case of single column cash book also so in case of single column cash book and double column cash book we have to prepare separate bank account i will explain with the journal entry whereas in three column cash book we don't have to prepare separate bank and cash ledger accounts we can get the balance by balancing the accounts we will prove that with the example also so contra entry i told you it's very important so the contra entry i'm going to explain so three column cash book has three columns i told you amount column is divided into bank cash and discount now some transactions will affect both the cash balance and the bank balance see for example amount deposited into bank amount withdrawn from the bank so these are the transactions which will if which will have an impact on bank account as well as cash in hand so some transactions will increase cash and some ca in transactions will decrease the cash at bank so cash in hand will increase cash at bank will decrease similarly cash in hand cash at cash at bank will increase cash in hand will decrease so one example if i'll give cash withdrawn from bank so in this case cash withdrawn from bank so if cash is withdrawn from the bank cash in hand will increase but as cash at bank will decrease whereas if cash is deposited in the bank cash in bank cash at bank will increase cash in hand will decrease so these type of transactions which are both tra affecting cash balance and bank balance we are calling it as the contra entries i am going to explain this is a very important concept now what do you mean by contra the term contra is derived from the latin word meaning of the term is opposite so in bookkeeping term contra means opposite sides or both sides of the same statement or account see in triple column cash book we know that debit balance is there and credit balance is there so debit column also amount column is divided into three cash bank and discount credit column also amount column is divided into cash bank and discount so in three column cash book transactions which affect both cash and bank accounts are recorded on either side of the statement that means on either side of the cash book and that is why these entries are called the contra entries i'm going to explain this now these transactions which uh, there are four transactions which will affect both cash balance and bank balance so that i will tell you opening a bank account opening an account with a bank you are depositing money so it will affect bank account and cash account now second is depositing money into bank that also will affect cash in hand and cash at bank now depositing a check into bank if we are depositing a check it's like cash deposited into bank that also will affect cash in hand and cash at bank withdrawing money for office use you know that if withdrawing money for personal use it will come as drawings this is why it is that's why it's mentioned drawing money withdrawing money for office use then it is known as contra entry so four transactions which are called the contra entries so alphabet c when you are entering a contra entry alphabet c capital c will be mentioned in the ledger folio column that means it will have 
entries on the cash side and the bank side both debit and credit side it will be entries that is the importance of contra entry now one transaction if you will take for single column cash book and double column cash book so i am going to explain what is the importance of contra entry and why in triple column cash book we don't have to maintain cash and bank account separately or the ledger we don't have to open separately so on october 1st 2020 mr a opened a bank account with state bank of india for rupees 10000 so now i am going to show that how we record this transaction in the single column cash book and the double column cash book so the journal entry for this transaction is bank account debit 10000 to cash account 10000 now so single column cash book we will write only in the amount column by bank 10000 there is no discount column only amount column is there by bank account 10000 in double column cash book by bank 10000 in the amount column discount column is there but there will not be any entry but here the problem is that you have to in the single column cash book and double column cash book you have to prepare a separate bank account so in the separate bank account we will open and we will write on the debit side to cash account 10000 credit side there is no entry by balance 10000 and we will write the opening entry as to balance brought down 10000 so this separate le bank ledger we have to open now we are preparing a three column cash book three column cash book meaning debit side and credit side amount column is divided into through three cash bank and discount so in the receipt side if you will write we are writing the cash book so to cash account bank account debited to cash so we will write in the ledger folio column 10000 and in the bank column we will write 10000 that's very very important to cash in the bank column we are writing 10000 in the receipts column because bank received 10000 now the payment side if you take by bank in the cash column we will write 10000 and a ledger folio column we will write 10000 in the ledger folio column we will write the c capital c for contra entry now one problem we will do enter the following transactions in the three column cash book as on 31 10 2020 first transaction 2020 october 1st opening balance of cash is 280000 and opening balance of bank is 350000 that you have to write that as the first entry from there you will record the transactions for the month of october and when you balance that you will get the closing balance of october that you will carry forward to november so october 2nd rent paid by check 17000 october 3rd cash sales rupees 45000 october 5th cash purchases rupees 29000 october 8th deposited in the bank 25000 october 10th check received from kasim rupees 48000 in full settlement of his account for rupees 50000 full settlement of account 50000 is the amount due he is accepting 48000 meaning 2000 is the discount the check is deposited in the bank now october 15th paid mr shastri rupees 13000 he allowed us discount rupees 200 now october 16th he withdrew from bank rupees 18000 october 20th paid for the purchase of a computer 35000 october 21st deposited in the bank rupees 27000 october 23rd withdrew from bank for personal purpose rupees 3000 october 25th paid satish rupees 12500 in full settlement of his claim for 13000 now also you have to remember that 5000 discount will be there October 26th receipt from Mr. Sanjay rupees 22,500 as check in full settlement of his claim for 23,000. Full settlement of his claim he is accepting a lesser amount meaning 500 is the discount. Now October 27th gave, San gave Sanjay's check into bank. Then October 28th paid salary by check rupees 18,000. October 29th paid electricity charges through bank rupees 3,500. October 30th paid for water rupees 1000 now we are doing the three column cash book you have to remember that there are so many columns so first the date column is there particulars ledger folio column here it is important you have to write the contra entries cap c should be written there discount column is there cash column is there bank column is there so debit side these are the columns credit side also these columns will be repeated date particulars ledger folio discount cash and bank so first we have to write with the opening balance opening balance october 1st cash balance was 280000 and bank balance was 350000 now october 2nd he paid rent 17000 
so buy rent account 17,000 October 3rd to sales account 45,000 cash sales October 4th buy purchases 29,000 October 8th to cash account 25,000 this is a contra entry cash deposited in the bank so cash account in the bank column we are writing 25,000 25,000 ledger folio column we are writing contra entry the same entry will come in the credit side also buy bank account contra entry in the cash column you will write 25,000 October 10th Kasim's account 48,000 is the cash and 2,000 is the discount 50,000 was the amount he accepted 48,000 so 2,000 is the discount October 10th this check was deposited in the bank so it was buy bank account contra entry 48,000 now to in the cash column we are writing 48,000 now October 10th to cash account this is a contra entry so that's in the debit side also we are writing contra entry and cash column we will write 48,000 in the bank column we will write 48,000 now October 15th by Shastri's account 13,800 in the cash column and 200 is the discount 14,000 was the amount so 200 is the discount now again 16th October 16th contra entry to bank account contra entry cash column we will write 18,000 and receipt other side also credit side also by cash account contra entry in the bank column we will write 18,000 October 21st to cash account this again contra entry cash account contra entry that is bank account value is 27,000 now by bank account in the receipt side it will come cash column you have to write 27,000 by bank account contra entry uh, October 20th one entry is there by computer account 35,000 now October 26th to Sanjay's account 23,000 was the amount he has accepted 22,500 so 500 is the discount so 22,500 in the cash column 500 in the discount column October 21st by bank account contra entry already I have explained 27,000 now October 27th again cash account contra entry 22,500 22,500 in the bank column we will write October 23rd by drawings account 3,000 that is from the drawings from the bank now October 25th by Satish's account Satish's account cash column we will write 12,500 and 500 in the discount column because the amount was 13,000 he accepted 12,500 by bank account contra entry the 27 transaction cash transaction already I have shown in the last slide here it is the corresponding bank transaction contra entry in the cash column you will write 22,500 now October 28th by salaries account 18,000 29th by electricity charges 3500 they are paying check salary and electricity charges paid by check so 3500 October 30th by water charges cash payment is made 1000 rupees in the cash column now here to see which side is higher so I told you discount column we will not balance we will only total it so discount column you are writing 2500 in the debit side credit side discount column is only 700 so we will write the totals there we will not tally it whatever total you are getting we will write the total next is cash balance you have to take the total 4 lakh 13500 you are getting debit side credit side also you have to write the same total now you have to balance that debit side is more so you will get the credit side balance 1 lakh 99700 similarly bank total is 4 lakh 72500 so that total we will write on the debit side and credit side the same value 4 lakh 72500 now when you balance the bank account credit side is less so that means 4 lakh 13000 is the balancing value in the bank account now that is the closing balance within bracket i have given balancing figure balancing figure for the account only we are writing is that as the balancing figure now opening balance we are bringing it down for the next month november 1st from credit side we will bring it to the debit side because debit side was higher that is why we are getting a balancing figure in the credit side so you have to bring it back to the debit side in the opening balance so cash balance is 1,99,700 bank balance is 4,13,000 so this is what I want to explain three column cash book only one problem I have explained and more problems I am giving in the description box please remember that you have to do that problems see just by listening to one problem you are not going to learn that contra entries how you will make the entries you have to practice it again and again so write the questions in your notebook 
and write your answers then you compare with my answers that is how you will learn that so you are learning the subject with me and i'm trying to simplify it as much as possible so please make advantage make use of it and you are please promote my video subscribe to my channel and give me the valuable feedback so that is how you can encourage me and happy learning with dr alice morning thank you